I told my mom that she could disown me if she doesn't want to do anything with me. So, I'm 16 F and in year 11. Before I say something, let me tell you that my mom had me when she was 17. But that doesn't mean she stopped everything to look after me. And I am really glad and happy with her decision because now she's 34 and has a well-paying job. She left me with my grandparents when I was one month old and went away to live with my nan's family in Bristol because she didn't want to face her friends or the neighbors. She never neglected me but then again, she never acted like my mom. She used to visit me on my birthdays and once every three months which slowly turned into sending me gifts because she was too busy which is of course understandable. She was well only 20 but as I grew, it felt like she had time for my half-siblings but never for me. The open evenings, matches, and a lot things were just so diabolical for me, because I had to see all my friends with their parents and how they were going to go victory shopping. It all felt like someone just threw a stone at my heart. It was too sad for me. I stopped getting good grades, I started getting threes and fours from my usual straight nines just to see if she cared enough to talk me considering she was my legal guardian and had access to my MCAT. I started getting into detention and ISER so that my school could call my mom, and she never picked up any of them. And as time went, I stopped looking forward to her yearly visits and birthday gifts but also by then, my behavior too went downhill. The bad grades wasn't just a call for attention now, I just didn't care enough to do good, I started vaping and smoking, vandalizing everything I see and a lot more. And I just want to let people know that my mom does have her own house in Bristol where she lives with her husband and two children two girls. My nan literally has a pic of them as her PFP, it's like I was the nuisance that just kept them from enjoying their life. It was my birthday six days ago, and I got a call from my mom where she told me how disappointed she was in me and how I won't be getting a gift because of my bad behavior. I told her to call me when I gave two shits about her and told her to disown me. She immediately cut the call and two hours later, my grandparents came into my room and told me how my mom was crying because of me with their usual I ruined her life speech. I got the custody annulment paper with me ready, the question is do you think I should just give her them? Peace. My biological dad has always been in the frame while trying to give me everything I could ever want. His wife, Lisa, is my form tutor and is just the best and kindest person out there. Even though I haven't told them about the paper, my dad told me how I was always welcomed in their house. I have a room there since I visit every weekends and half terms. They too have two children, two boys, yet he never fails to be there for me. He takes me with them whenever they go anywhere which is kind of boring since they mostly go for boys things but Lisa was always there so that I won't be alone. I do everything with her, from shopping to homework. She was the one who had the talk with me when I got my periods and stuff. 